I forgot which one I was going to say because like two songs came in. Anyway, um, welcome, Kinsers and Crosswalkers, to your October, which is more like October to November, but whatever, reading for this current year. So, y'all, what is we doing today? Well, what we're doing is reading. This is for the sign Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I need to start doing something for like the Mars some point. Maybe. I don't know. Either way. Um, so check your charts. If this resonates with you, cool. If not, you just who knows where you're at. no point where you're at. Shit, you got nothing to do with you. You ain't any damn business. Right? I'm saying, so cancer. Who's being fucky? Why don't, why, why, why? <laughs> I love you, cancer. I really do. You're like that friend who always gets in trouble or is around people who always gets in trouble and, and like, you're there for a motherfucker no matter what. No matter what. But who's playing games? Who's, who is doing the fuck, fuck shit, you know? Who's me? Who is that fucked up? Who is that? Who? I don't know. Well, we're going to figure it out, hopefully. A few seconds. I need to get an ashtray. I'm using my heavier ashtray as a uh, prop for my camera. Actually, I'm going to dump this out. Cause, yeah. But I need to answer. Um... Yeah, you guys are like that person who's always there for people, but it's like, who are you really being there for? You know, because I'm not sure what it is I'm seeing, right? So look at vibration and energy. Someone isn't letting something die. And I guess this is the ace of air. And when I looked at it to begin with, I was like, oh, that's Falcor from the Ring Story. And then I thought, oh, well, maybe that's Parthmanax from Skyrim. Because I'm a nerd, apparently, so. Um, but then I realized, oh, this is like the dragon from the Ace of Pentacles from my Deviant Moon deck. This is a warning. Like, you know, someone won't let something die with something that's potentially going to harm them or bring a lot of problems. Probably fuck with them mentally since that's that air card, right? Situation. Someone's not getting a message with some sort of collaborations, playing swords with each other. Like, let's have a thought that. But not of the violent kind. That, that something seems like that's not happening. Someone's not getting the message that some sort of partnership isn't coming through. Right? And there's some dude in the middle just trying to mediate it. Like, hey, like, look at it. You guys are going to play fair and all that shit. And someone. Hmm. Like, this dude has influence how these two operate with their swords, right? One so the wishes. We got the strength card with the air, with the arrow card. And cancer, I'm pretty sure. No, it's not. No, it's not. I lied. I lied. That's the six. This is the four. See, these cards are not in any way, shape, or form traditional in tarot. Anyway, someone's hoping and wanting and wishing to have the strength to hit their mark with their arrow. It looks like they got, like... Pinpointed right there, looking like a hawk, all fiery, like yeah! and shit, right? Obstacles and challenges, though. There's something going on in this house. People look happy, but there's something going on in this house, particularly I think with you, Cancer, because this literally looks like you. This looks like a crab fishy bitch. Well, look at her. I actually thought those were pincers on her heads before I realized that was gills, but I'm assuming this is you. Just all oh, whatever. Look at ya. Just being like, I have gills. I can breathe underwater, and plus, like. The goddess card symbol, the goddess sigil is actually up there for Hecate, so it's like, oh, okay. Could be dealing with a practitioner, too. We might practice. Just throwing that out there since I saw the triple moon. I was not even, it, I, I, I'm, like, I, that's the first time I've ever got that card, so I've never actually seen it. Fears or rejections, a tower moment? Well, this bitch trying to find balance, but I, 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 those dragons surrounding her bother me. It's like, once again, there's an influence here with this tower. It's like um, someone's afraid of a tower, but they're not paying attention to what they're surrounding themselves around Cancer and Crosswatcher, which is literally what I was saying to you. How this shit starts, how it'll end. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. She can't lay the fucking egg of life. I repeat, this bitch is not a hen. She cannot lay the egg of life. Fire. Piece of fire. Potential. Spiders tend to be bad omens for me, especially if I dream of them, so... Sketchy. Sketchy. 
But yeah, that's why I got like I, I feel like you're surrounded by people or someone is around you, Cancer, and whoever that is could be a bad influence. Maybe you're a bad influence on them. I don't fucking know. I just work here for free sometimes. Still live. Ugh. Vibration and energy. Someone tried to get out of some sneaky shit. Didn't work. Not none. And that's with this uh, lack of death color, this death color, and this dangerous dragon. Both reversed. I'm gonna try to sneak away from that shit and it's not working for him. Or they keep getting caught or some shit. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> she's looking like a red. That motherfucker literally has shit in his hand showing that he got caught and she's just sitting there being like, oh yeah, see. You may not see how the look on my face, but I see you, bitch. Like, she knows. She, she knows. She knows. Like, she's watching this motherfucker, and this motherfucker knows she's watching her, but he, he still acts shocked. That, um... I think Kevin don't tour Actually, I think all the signs are up. If I'm looking right here. Got water. Got earth. Got flat. Well, we got Leo. Yeah, we, we even... Yeah, everyone's on the board, so this could be anybody with this energy. But it definitely could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Definitely could be Capricorn, because that's my card. That's my Fannie Mae. That's my bitch, right? I love her. Someone needs to buy me her dress, because I'll wear that. I'll buy that. I'll, someone buy me her antler crown, actually. I'll wear that over the dress. I'll take that. But yeah, she's watching this person, and this person's so, like, shocked that they know what's going on. But it's just like, why would you hide that shit? You know, like, uh, it seems like someone was saying some nasty shit and that just delayed a lot of the fucking issues cancer and cross watchers or something up here somebody knows that they're being watched but they want to act like they're surprised that they got caught you know and now there's nothing to wait for despite the fact that it's fruitful like you know this queen of pentacles right here she's not only not waiting for anything to spring up I get the feeling she's not fucking surprised. Honestly. I feel like she's not fucking surprised. So let's see. Situation. Eight of woman's reverse with the four of fire. A message doesn't seem like it's coming through for these two people, but there's someone in the middle influencing or mediating something, right? There's no resurrection in the situation either. Hell no, not at all. Oh, okay, Sean, whatever. It's just some way wanting to argue. <laughs> I'm gonna argue with a lot of people. Just to get it out of my system. Not like bad things, but it's just like... Eh. More like, um... Theological, more than political discussions. It goes into politics, but it's like... It's a, uh, Political science group. This shit isn't getting resurrected despite the fact that this person was the goodest boy ever. With somebody they knew for a long, long time. I mean, you know, I'm just saying, you know, like, you can't cite economical depression as a source for economical disaster during a pandemic that's happening globally and still expect everything to operate on a supply and demand level like it has been. That's all I was saying, you know. And now Sean's bringing God into it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sean. I know you watch my shit. But, yeah. I'm, that, that was my whole point, man. That's all I was saying. Anyway, semantics. The person who, who was... Okay, Cancer and Crosswater. Someone was supposed to be the goodest boy ever. To their old ass man owner. Right? And it might be a situation where someone isn't resurrecting with another person because they feel like that old ass man, this person who has been around for so long, like, you know, they're victorious, but they're also kind of looking for a fight, like, they're prepared, you know, they're training, they're getting up there, they're doing shit. Strength with the arrow card. Someone wants to shoot their arrow and they want to have the ability to do it. Could be going with a Leo specifically too. 
Pretty good leave on your turn, something, but whoever it is that who's demonstrating this greatness wants to show they can shoot the mark. Um, basically, because they can't get over their own heartbreak, their own issues, um, their own pain, they still linger on that shit, you know. Which is, you know, this is around a good time to deal with all the shit that's been triggering the fuck out of you too. Um, none of us will be able to avoid it, and we're all going to suffer. It'll be for our own good, you know. Whatever you want to say to comfort yourself. Yeah, they're trying to avoid a tower room. Like, this person's trying so hard, I feel like. Or someone's trying hard. I don't know what that is, but I put there. Kitties. I don't give a fuck. This person is trying to avoid a tower because they don't want to feel the consequences again. Ugh, and they're trying to command their own fate. Or maybe they're sad over the fact that a tower moment didn't happen. But they're the ones who geared it that way, you know? That way they can kind of, you know, uh, what would be the best way to put it? I, I, I guess the best way, like taking, um, setting your own destiny, taking control of your fate, which is like, got a lot of balls to think you can tell, like, the universe what's going to do with you. <laughs> well, you should be able to, because we're, we are the universe, so it's just like, mm, okay. I mean, yeah, 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 I guess it makes sense, but I feel like it's for the wrong reason. <clears throat> I'll school and challenge, you'll get four, I'll give it to you. Um, is someone, is there something going on in this house, possibly with you canceling crosswalks, just the obstacle and challenge, like, y'all look good on the outside, but when you're in the house, like, there could be yelling, there could be something disgruntled here, you have, like, the five of swords here, um, as the, uh, vibration of energy, right, like, it's calling for patience, or someone's trying to be patient, because of the money, they, because, you know, like, they got the money to, like, wait, that's more appropriate. This isn't patience waiting for something. This is like someone has the patience to wait. Um, especially considering that, like, you know, they idolize somebody, but there's something in, there, there's something in the fucking water. There's something in the water. It, it's making it fucking... could be with a Pisces, but there's something here that's, like, triggering your timbers. There's something here that's, like, bothering you. It's just like, I don't mind, but at the same time, it's like, I don't mind, but what the fuck is that sound? Why are there twigs snapping? Who's going to... You know, it, like, you're, there's something that's, like, kicking in your, um, intuition, your, um, survival instincts to make you think there's something wrong here. Or maybe you're trying to build your money up or something, but there's something lingering in the background, especially if there's a person you're, uh, idolizing or if they're idolizing you, if you're the fuck with, that, um, is bothersome and is getting somebody thinking heavily, I should say. Fears and reflections. Uh, the tower with the lady trying to balance herself, but it's the dragons. I, like, I, I, like, I think the last time I saw this card, I paid more attention to how she's focused with the pigeons. There's something about those dragons, um, just being in this bitch's ear, you know, like, that left and right shoulder thing. Something to do with this tower, the Saphir interjection. They want to open it up with love. Or they, they, or that's what happened the last time with the tower. They wanted to open up with the Pisces Scorpio. Ooh. Um, but there was no commitment there. Because someone was sticking around because there was really nowhere to go. And then they felt defeated by the shit. And then they just, you know, they might have they might, they might lost, someone might have lost their shit and said way too many things. It just fucked everything up. You know, someone might have lost their mind. Could have been an air sign. Air sign might have actually came in the jumble. Jumble? Jumble? Like the game? No, that's Scrabble. Or is there a game called Jumbo? Or Jumble? Scrabble? Something like, it's like, it's like, it's not like, like, argument as much as, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say that. It's like, incoherent jumbling. Yeah, that started problems. That definitely started problems. That did not make any situation better. That did not. 
so it's like opening up with the tower the last time wasn't very helpful and it's almost like Cancers and Cross Watchers, you're trying to avoid doing that. You're trying to take your fate in the situation. I don't think that's a good idea, honestly. I don't I don't I don't think this is catering to fairness, especially since this dude just came out again. You know? Like it seems like someone's trying to communicate with this chick that, you know, like, hey, especially and I and I, and I think I said this in Scorpio's video too today. Um, that, hey, I'm just coming to tell you I fucked up, you know? Someone's gonna possibly try to communicate that telepath tele 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 telepathically or some way or try to find it or try to make the person realize they feel this way. Just start out and this bitch cannot lay an egg. The Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, cannot lay an egg of life. She's not very happy about that, neither. Not very happy. In fact, she's sulking really fucking hard because apparently it didn't work between two people. Cancer's and cross walkers. Okay. Yeah, the Empress turned her back, you know. Still worried about the person, but I sure as fuck not gonna put up with your bullshit. And uh definitely not gonna be going into a dangerous situation. No, not it's all unfair, this home isn't worth it, just being like, fuck this. I am done arguing. I don't care how cramped it is, I am gonna find a way of escaping this shit. Now this person doesn't give a fuck. It's like, I don't care how bad my situation is. I'm getting out of this. I'm really uncomfortable. Ugh. But it seems like some... This... She might be... She might be turning her back to a suitor. Like she's focused on her unhappy. Like she's focused on the fact that she's unhappy, but she's turning the back her back to the fact that like she's in a cave with no shoes on, trying to tempt some dude who looks like he's been out there and needs fuck bath. Like, look at this guy. Look at him. He looks like he's been in too many wars, and now this bitch just wants to be like, hey, I ain't got no shoes, and the and, and neighbors doesn't have any shoes on her thing either. So it's just like, like you can't go tempting people and then that, just because you're unhappy, but not want to face what you're doing. Yeah, that's her main thing. Someone. Shitty games leads to... <laughs> this, again, someone just throwing out justice even though they know better. Um, someone's get head games causes something that... Some relationship that just started up in a good relationship. To just down the tubes. Down the tubes. Unfortunate, but we'll see. Anyway, can't that. Situation? No. Well, so someone might be a cunt. Could definitely be a Leo. Um, likes crushing people. Enjoys crushing people. Almost too much. So it could definitely be a fire sign Leo Sagittarius who you could possibly be dealing with, or that's in yours, whatever, but this person wants to crush somebody. These all fell out sideways too, but I'll read them like this, fuck it. Uh, vibration and energy. <laughs> like, I, he's just... She, she knows what this person is doing, and she's watching them, and the fact that the person wants to sit there and act like, I can't believe you caught me. This person is not surprised. They're not shocked or anything, you know, like, and then the like, motherfucker wants to come back and be like, hey, I love you, but all oh, that's just poison. That's just bullshit. They don't get that shit. And, and that shit ends 
That shit ends with someone getting dragged through fucking fire. In order to make everyone else happy. Or, or, or... Queen of Pentacles realizes that, like, this person is not trying to be helpful, not trying to help them heal, not trying to give them rest. And they end that shit because they realize that's what's siphoning and sucking away their happiness. Mm -hmm. Situation. Uh, judgment card reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. There's no resurrection here. With his goodest boy ever. Because they feel like possibly this old guy's a little bit too combative, it's a little bit too competitive, all that shit, right? Yeah, that shit's coming to an end. Fuck that. Yeah, but it, it, it's coming to an end regardless. Like, nothing was set up correctly. Nobody did it. it, it nobody's doing anything right, and it takes way too much fucking effort to fix this shit than to just move on. Like, do you really want to invest in that much bug spray? How many times are you going to rent your house before all the riches are gone? Because it keeps coming back. One, you named Steve, and you taught him how to, like, play tic-tac-toe with you. Bobby, he eats everything in the fridge and under the fucking fridge. That, that skank Susan, she's fucking pregnant again with another thousand litter. They just keep coming fucking, like, you, like, are you really gonna stay in the house where you have to fumigate every two weeks? Only for them to keep coming back? I don't think so. I think that would be a waste of money. I think that would be a waste of your time for whoever this is, Cancer Browse Watcher. I really don't know. I don't have any idea. Kind of crazy, actually. Wants and wishes. Three of Swords, Shadow Side Reverse, Tower Reverse, Wheel of Fortune, Shadow Side, Upper. Mm, Wheel of Fortune is definitely saying none of that's happening. <laughs> wow! Fucking denied, man. Okay, so whoever's trying to shoot this arrow and make it true so this tower room doesn't happen, that's not gonna happen. And Face is like, uh uh, you're not, you are not in control. I am in control. Like... Mmm. You know, uh, you aren't going anywhere in this situation. No one's taking you with them. Um, you're here. You, this person, not possibly not going with this person. Some guy who's going you can definitely deal with them. Yeah. Uh, you guys are a good pair. But I don't think you're going to be following this person. Despite the fact that you guys are a good pair. Alright. Down in the obstacle and telling the princess. Temperance, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the High Priestess. Someone thinks if they just... I feel like someone wants to wait around for like money to come up. Or maybe they think they're valuable because they have money. But they also idolize somebody, but there's something in the back of their head being like click, 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 like a bomb that's ticking away. Uh, here's this guy. Fuck, I'll just read this book. He wants to crush something. Um, someone doesn't get chosen. Wait. Someone does get chosen. Hi. <coughs> Hold on. So that was my girlfriend. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> she just came in for um, a break really quick. She just wanted to come by and say hi. So anyway, Cancer's the crosswalker. Yeah, they're really, you know, fucking Leo, Sag, Aries. Don't really matter. Could just be someone with it in a chart and we're in or we're just acting like it's a bad punch. Um, someone might have gotten picked. <coughs> or something, I'm not sure. And that was just to avoid learning the lesson all over again. Made offers. We're trying to be gentle and decisive with shit. But unfortunately, whoever they were doing that with was kind of an asshole and treated them like they were less than a pet. And this person, you know, like, they didn't know any better. This was the first time, so it was really hard to let go of that shit. And someone tried really, really, really to be honest with this counterpart. About, you know, like, I kind of want to be single in this situation. But then they got caught up in the trap because they got found the fuck out. Oh, that's probably why this other person isn't very surprised then. So, we're not there. So, that kind of sucks for now. So, maybe this person, like, maybe this person is sneaking around. 
Because, I don't know, it's very complicated. Either way, like, it seems like you're kind of with a douchebag for this one. From Crosswalkers. Uh, yeah, there's no victory between the two of you in this. Even if they crown you one, it's gonna be made of, like... Imagine a Cardi B song written by Dolores Umbridge. That's that teacher who always wore pink in Harry Potter, in case you don't know what I'm talking about. But just imagine that. Just, just imagine that. That's what they're crowning you with, okay? Um, and, but that's in order to let you die, so this person probably treats you like shit because they know you'll take it. Especially if you're prone to people treating you badly. Come in here. No one should even give me that shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, like, your obstacle and challenge really can't surrender certain cross watchers. You're gonna have to spill your cup before you, like, let the swords fall back on you. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but at least you'll be able to start something new, you know? Like, the, like the problem with this is with your obstacle and challenge, or whatever it is you're possibly trying to do, or what your person's trying to do for you. Um, they're trying to polish a turd, more or less, like, you know, um, you can keep believing in somebody, but if they keep showing you that they aren't going to try, like, you were, like, okay, imagine you ate a donut, and it was the most delicious donut, it had sprinkles, it had chocolate gra glaze, it was made of cake, not donut dough, but actual cake mix, and it was delicious. And that was the last donut of that kind that's ever made. Does it make sense to just go and like look for a different donut that you might like? Or does it make sense to go through your poop and dig out pieces of the donuts and the sprinkles and the chocolates and shit just because you like that fucking donut that bad? I mean, like, sure, parts of the donut's still there, you can taste donut, but it's still covered in shit. You know, that's not a good idea. Like, then you're gonna have, like, a shit-flavored donut instead of a chocolate cake donut with sprinkles. Don't, don't eat the shitty donut, please. Yeah, I need to consider that. Eating shit donuts is not... <laughs> what do they call it? Show nuts? Yeah, show nuts it is. Show nuts it is. Here's your injections. Queen of Cups, Hammer Fits Reverse, and then like the Five of Wands Shadow Side Upright. Someone's got feelings about a lot, and it feels like this tower moment, so you've already dealt with this, and it's gonna happen regardless, but um. Someone's got a lot of feelings. Like, feel away about the lack of commitment. With somebody who just just got just mean in general, that's gonna hurt. Someone's gonna have to get hurt in order. For, the person who's hurting the other person, they came in to change things very quickly, very bright quickly because uh, shit wasn't working prior. Like your fears, that makes sense. But it's kind of like if you are afraid of something so much, you're probably going to end up doing what you didn't want to do to begin with. Or worse, like, accidentally manifesting that somehow because you're that paranoid. It's kind of like Teresa from the show Passions. Hmm. How shit starts, how it ends. Sun reverse. The Emperor's shadow side. Nine of Wands shadow side. Shadow side. There's some weird shit happening in my fucking house. Somebody needs to let their feelings out about things. Oh, there's a book. Yeah, everyone's getting ready to go. The wedding's over. The door's still open. There's still time to capture this fucking empress, but they better watch. They better watch what the fuck they say, or else like she'll want to fight and then like enable her justice. You know, someone needs to be careful with what they say in regards to their emotions. 
I know cancer. Well, cancer, you have a problem with, like, even opening up and saying what you gotta say anyway. Like, sometimes you guys have this thing where, like, you think that people can read your minds or are as obvious with shit as you are, and it's just like... No, dude, I have no idea what the fuck you're thinking. You're kind of gonna have to tell me. Yeah, you might speak on balance, saying things out. Possibly with the old dude. You might actually want to work it out with the old dude. You might want to be like, hey, man, I know you don't want me to be your goodest boy, bestest boy ever, but, you know, I still gotta pay your dues, you know. This king wants is as dickish. Kids, are you just avoiding talking to somebody and it's making you look shady? Is that what, like... God, every fucking time, Cancer. I love you, Cancer, but Jesus. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Fun fact, bro. I actually have no idea when my uh, birth time is. It's actually, like, opposite. The hospital says I was born in the morning, which would have made me cancer rising, but my mother says evening, which makes me sad rising. But, like, who knows? But either way, cancer, like, even if I was your rising sign, I kind of get what you're doing. But at the same time, it's like, bruh. Calm down. Take a breath. Just think. Be direct. It's not that hard. You know, you have options, and the world is yours. I think you're being paranoid, honestly, now that I'm looking at all this. I think you're being paranoid. Or your person's being paranoid. Because this feels like... Well, yeah, Mercury's in retrograde, so now it's actually going to be talking to each other in a weird space to be. Communication's messed up. Toasters and shit just aren't working right fallout, X is coming back, old people coming back, you know, like, all that shit, like, everything's just backwards. And so, that's probably why you're feeling the way you're feeling, or they're feeling the way they're feeling when it comes to communication. This might not be a wish fulfillment that actually brings you the happiness that you think it is. It might actually put you in, a, in like, a murdering spree, honestly. You might want to murder a motherfucker, too, you know? like, just be a little bit rude and classless. Like, you might really be in your feels about this because you felt for it a lot. But you'll get over it. You will actually get over this. I think the weird thing is, is like... I think you wanted this so bad. Because in a way it made you feel secure, or it made your person feel secure, one of the two. But then, like, once you don't have it, you're just, it, it, it's almost like your stress levels go down. It's just like, oh, I don't have to worry about shit no more. I am fine. Okay, so anyway, cancer with your cross watchers. And that was in your reading, so if you enjoyed this, you can like, share, you can subscribe, being got two if you don't want to. Um, I will see you guys later. I love your face. Bye. And the vibration and energy. All this waiting around and shit, not knowing what the fuck's actually going on. Empress. Um, definitely gonna be dealing with Aries for sure, because both of the Imperials are right here. Now she's not happy. Then there's this dick, and the, but we're not going into him because fuck that. He already had like an entire video dedicated to him. It's like an hour. Uh, I don't even know, but like she's not happy. This Empress, and she has her back turned down here. Like, she's upright, trying to send this knight to this king that used to be looking for snakes, and now she's just like, you know what? Just fuck this shit. Because you're starting to get on my fucking nerves with it. You know? Like, I can only go so long before you get on my fucking nerves. Uh, yeah, she might have been coming out of her fucking days or whatever. Scorpion and Crosswatchers, this could be you, but I feel like this person was almost under a spell or something. Like, we're gonna have a few good time. You know those. They're just like everything is gonna be okay. Everything is okay. At least we're trying to make it okay. But there is a lot of fucking head games going around. I 
I don't know who's playing them though, but I don't know. I, I think I don't think it's this empress. I don't think that she is. I think she's realizing that this is what's going on, and that's why someone's getting like driven away by this dude who needs five swords at once, but he can only carry fucking three. <laughs> yeah, that was a victory. You take the swords. How are you gonna carry them all? Who's gonna help him pick them up? Not a damn person. Uh, the situation down below. This king, he keeps, like, just not paying attention to what this empress is doing. That's what's making her mad, right? You know, there, there, is a, there is a sense of parlaying that needs to be done, but I don't think that's gonna happen. because you know, there's too many fucking options right here. There's, there, there are too many variables with the constants, you know. Like, switch anybody out as much as you want, still same situation. Knight of Pentacles reverse, King Cup Shadow Side, and the High Priestess Shadow Side. I almost called her the Empress. It could be the Empress, but I don't think so. Someone wants to pull some tricks, or someone wants to at least perform. Show how Dazzling and inspiring they are, I reckon. I'm like such a hot mess with my eyeliner, but you never know. She's a stallion. <laughs> uh, yeah, to carry somebody's uh, issues with them. The problem is, you know, uh, how long are you gonna keep carrying somebody else's swords before you start carrying your fucking own? Huh? Mm, it's kind of important. You got, I mean, one dude, he can only carry three. This person's carrying four, and it's not even there. Like, this person is being a little bit more, um, selfless service-like has more strength than this person if he's putting, playing these games on another person, almost driving them away. It's almost like this person, it, it's almost like whoever it is that's, like, like, this person, I think, would stick around if this, if their whoever would actually show something or try, or don't waste their fucking time, or make them feel like they're wasting their time. Like, like someone's uncomfortable with another person, to the point where, like, they feel like they can't talk to them, but I feel like they're uncomfortable because their person hasn't actually put in the effort to express that, uh, you can talk, because there's really not a lot of swords here except for some bullshit, and someone carrying somebody else's stuff but not mentioning their own. I feel like one person needs to tell the other person it's okay to say whatever, you know, or show that it's okay, or have some self-control somewhere, yeah, because somebody's saying some shit and now motherfuckers want to fight, <laughs> this just fucks everything up, someone might go into some details about a person and just fuck, and just stab them in the throat so they can't say anything. You better be one damn video. It's just sad. I wouldn't so sad. Because it takes me forever to find the files in my programmer. And it's just, well, I can just do it on the computer. I'll do it on the computer. Um, 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 um. Yeah, that's what causes the separation right here. It's you know, Something isn't equal. Like, Someone's giving too much. You know? Like, it's like um, givers and takers, except someone's a giver and the other person's a taker, and the taker just doesn't give anything back. Like, but I'm not sure... Mm -mm. I don't know, but this person's like taking back their apple and being like, no, I'm done. You don't get to like have your hand hover over my apple so we can have like awesome like electro whatever. This came out sideways. High priestess. Someone, someone's intuition is trying to tell them something about this scenario, and they're not hearing it. So, my videos are getting so long. Oh, I'm back on in the veil. Thin, super. It is super thin. All right, obstacle and challenge. Right, not knowing where you're going with this new beginning. Trying to. 
put your light with the sun because you might be a little bit infatuated with somebody. Or is that you? I don't know. Either way, someone's trying to simulate with the board, and I don't think that they, they... I think this person has too much respect to fucking, like, just keep catering, you know? Like, they love... Their, their person could be a Leo. They love a little lion. They give it hugs, but it's still a fucking lion. Like, what the fuck are you doing? It's got claws and shit. Like, they hunt fucking... Are antelope deer? Probably. Whatever. They love it, but... <laughs> oh. Yeah, baby switch. You thought that was gold. No, it was bug. Ha ha. Just they drop that fucking ball. And then they're no longer tempted once they realize what the fuck's actually going on. Hmm. They don't want to be tempted by this anymore. Someone can't be because it's too costly to, like, keep hugging this fucking kitty cat. You know, it's like, oh my god, it was like, you give me a hug? I know you have claws. You can at least bite my neck and kill me, you know? Fears of rejection. Uh. Page of Cups, King of Swords, yeah, motherfucker might be a douchebag, and then like, um, the Four of Wands, Shadow Side, also King of Cups, can't, not King of Cups, King of Swords, Shadow Side, both of those reverse, other ones, Sunny Side Up, uh, Happy Time. Fear or rejection, like, yeah, it's almost like someone's way too emotional. Then they go to the King of Swords reverse energy with this shit, and it's just like, oh, we're breaking up, that's a disaster. Hmm. Is someone afraid that, like, the person who isn't giving enough is gonna break up? I mean, that's understandable, because if it seems like someone's not going to give you what you need, it can sometimes seem voluntary, which it's really not, because sometimes people really can't help that. Some people just aren't good with affection, and that should be remembered, you know. If you can't handle that, like, you should deal with it, but, like, you should also try to be a little understanding, I feel, too, because some people just aren't like that. Um, it takes a lot of effort and patience, I think. Oh, Lord. Ugh. This bitch is every fucking where. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, oh, my goodness. Like, mm. I mean, it's a happy setting, but there could be, like, whoever's the one that's, the, that's one foot out the door, you're happy in this situation. The feeling like you guys aren't good for each other is what's driving you predominantly crazy, you know, especially down in the, uh, how the shit starts out, and it's driving you crazy, like, you're happy with this, and it might even be a chance that either you're bored with how things are going on, and you're just sitting there overthinking shit, or your person's bored, one of the two, you know? How it starts, how it ends. The relationship might not work because someone is not taking control. Might even be by the uh, next eclipse, which I think we're having another three this year or some shit. That this person realizes that they kind of caused shit to happen. You know, justice is being served, kind of. They might figure it out before you do. Um, you probably had to walk away from this situation right here. Ooh, Scorpion Cross Watchers. I really, I hope you're the person who's halfway in and out the door. I really do. I hope you're the person who's like Olga carrying her sack, walking away because these two people in the background, these folk in the background, they're getting, uh, 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 they're relearning something. This is something that's happened before. This is a lesson that they need to learn again and again and again, maybe, or maybe this is the second time they've done it because they're this tower only been struck once, and now it's the second time, but. This is a person who goes through a, a, a similar, if not the same, tower room again, but they're not opening their mouths the way that they should, so that's why justice is getting to them here. Yeah, whoever is opening their mouth or something or whatever, um, Scorpion and Cross Watchers. I think.
I think this person. I'm not sure. It's like, what's the point of being in and out of the door if you're looking for commitment? I mean, like, that would be, like, a situation where someone isn't secure in their relationship to that point. I would think. But I'm not sure, because it's, like... Like, I get... The need for the validation and shit, right? Because that's why I really think it's somewhat going on here, but I'm not sure. You cycle... Maybe this queen understands that she might have self-sabotage, but there's also, like, the king of pentacles over here who's also, seems like they might be self-sabotaging, like, because I don't know if this is a real person or if this is a person somebody imagined in their fucking head, you know? It's like when people have really high expectations for their lovers, but they don't, um, uh, But they don't look, like, they put the person on a pedestal so high they forget they're a human being and understand that, like, people have faults and they make mistakes and they do stupid things for whatever amounts of reasons. I feel like this person just doesn't understand that, like, people are flawed, you know. Even have excuses for this shit, though. Yeah. Trying to send a message. So the person who one foot in and out the door, right, might take off, might be driven off, some shit like that, or they feel like they should just fucking leave, one of the two. Um, person who's in and out the door, I will say, if you leave, you'll connect with your person again. That's probably why you're taking action, too, because, like, sometimes um, my knight of wands are usually, like, booty call mans, too, so, like... You might be patiently waiting to take action. <laughs> but, um, you as a person, you're not gonna, like, if y'all break up, you're not gonna stay exes for very long. That's for fucking sure. I mean, if you guys break up, it oh, fucking well, but, a, a, I'll tell you right now, you're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna stay apart. You're not gonna stay apart. Because, like, you love this person. Regardless. I, I just think whoever this person is who's like in and out just needs to chill and understand their person better because I, I, I like I don't know why but I'm just mm. anyway that's your reading Scorpio no 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 you need advice I'm gonna use these just I'm gonna my writer Let's do your best times. Good memories, happy memories. Ah, it's on the trail. King of Swords, someone will probably speak on it. There might not be a lot of movement because of the betrayal. And there might not be any focus in moving in between, like, the betrayal to the King of Swords. Like, the world's reversed right here, so I feel like the cycle will be completed until, like, this King of Swords, um, turns himself upright and actually, like, it says what the fuck he needs to say. You know, you need to speak. You don't need to speak rudely or horribly to somebody. You can speak it in a calm, toned way. You gotta use, like, your customer service voice if you gotta say something to somebody, you know? Because, you know, his counterpart's right here, and she's going nuts because, um... She doesn't know, I, I, I feel like this person doesn't know what the fuck's going on, they're confused. He's very much confused, and he needs to fucking talk. But, um, Scorpion Crosswalkers, that was your reading for October. Uh, and you can take it into November. But I'm probably doing November on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, like, share, subscribe, but pow, pow. But you ain't got to if you don't want to. I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.